So we're going to do a very simple breakfast dish, a creamed mushrooms basically. Um, if you could get wild mushrooms, little chanterelles, pied de mouton, um, that would really make for a nice flavour. Um, but the chestnut mushrooms have got lots of flavour in them too, um, and they're more accessible I suppose. Um, we're going to fry these off with um, butter, chefs love butter. Um, butter adds fantastic flavours to things so we're going to put a little bit of butter through it, add some of the chopped cob nuts, cob nuts and mushrooms go really well together, those earthy flavours, um, a little bit of sage, parsley, touch of red wine and some creme fraiche at the end of it. Uh, be careful when you're using sage, too much of it can get slightly medicinal in flavour so you don't want to overdo it so I tend to always put mix um, with something a little bit milder so I'm just going to use some flat leaf parsley. So a um, couple of sprigs of each and you just want those chopped up. You're going to add those through at the end. Um, And also add a little bit of parmesan cheese if you wanted to um, to this dish. It's delicious. We're going to serve it on a sourdough made by a local sourdough baker. So pop that in there. Just a few of the mushrooms. You don't have to be too precise. Just a few. Little. You can keep them. The thing is, the smaller you cut them, the more flavour you're going to get into them. So. worried about sizing and again it's these sort of earthy hedgerow flavours that kind of work well together so the cob nuts are out now and um, mushroom season you've got all the beautiful um, porcini probably out about the same time as the cob nuts I'm not good enough for my mushrooms to be able to use wild ones myself without knowing what they are so I would always be safe and buy them from somebody I knew. Okay, so that's that all prepped up and then we're going to cook that off. So we've got a nice little bit of heat under our pan. We're going to melt some butter. This doesn't have to be too precise. Um, it's really, you know, if you're making for one or for two, you'll get used to how much you like. Um, I'll put some of the mushrooms in and let those start to sizzle. So our mushrooms are sizzling beautifully in this butter. Just be cautious of the fact that butter does burn quite quickly so we don't want burnt mushrooms or butter we just want that lovely golden texture okay and of course mushrooms do have a lot of um, liquid in them so they will go down to a much smaller portion so just bear that in mind um, once you're allowing for However, so turn the heat down a little bit, we're going to add our cob nuts and again, yes they're giving, they're delivering a beautiful um, flavour to the dish but they're delivering texture because um, you've got the soft mushrooms and then you're going to have this beautiful crisp crunch of the newly picked fresh cob nuts. A little bit of salt. Pepper. A tiny dash of wine. You could use stock if you don't want to use wine. It does impart a really nice flavour into the dish. Just allow that wine to burn off. You're not, you're not wanting to knock someone out with a breakfast dish like this, but you are just introducing that little bit of flavour to the back. usually smell once the wines come off it will hit you first of all and then once that sort of alcohol um, smell has gone you know most of that's been burnt off a little bit of 
creme fraiche to go through here. Brings it all together. You can use double cream if you want to be particularly indulgent. Um, but the creme fraiche actually works really well because it's got that little soured notes at the back, um, which makes it not quite so rich and heavy. So just let that bubble away a little bit more. You've got a combination here of your parsley and your sage through. I tend to use pepper in dishes like this. Pepper is a great seasoner rather than too much salt. It's interesting how much flavour um, comes out just by using pepper rather than automatically going for the salt cellar. Okay, that's lovely. And then just as a little bit of indulgence, parmesan. And that's it. I'm going to put that on some sourdough toast and that's going to be a really delicious breakfast dish.